Do you think this photo has promise as a painting? And if you do, what would you eliminate to make it work? Someone emailed me the other day, a beginner, and she said, when she's starting a painting, it means confronting a barrage of stimuli of equal value. I thought it was a great idea, a great quote. And if you have this experience this week, I'm going to show you how you cut through all that and simplify and get rid of all that pesky detail. Hi, Ian Roberts and Mastering Composition. So this is an image of a small town in Provence called Suzette. And I grant you, it has a lot of distracting detail. It's not necessarily clear what you'd paint and what you'd eliminate. And I chose it specifically for that reason. So I show you how, how I would approach simplifying it because there's a hierarchy to how you approach these things. It isn't just the barrage of things of equal value, a stimulus of equal value. So first I'm going to show you the structure that I would start to think about and then I'd show you immediately what I'd eliminate, just get rid of because they're extraneous. And then I'm going to draw the scene, not a finished drawing, just sort of a process drawing. So you see the process of my seeing the shapes in space, carving back into the depth and aligning to the structure that I chose. And one thing to watch out for is how I'm drawing the trees. That there's a lit side, I mean the sun shining, a lit side and a dark side. And their shape, lit shape, dark shape. And I'm not painting branches and leaves. I'm paint, I can paint shapes. I can't paint leaves. All right. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. I just want to think in terms of shapes. Lit shape, dark shape. So please do like the video if you like it. Please do subscribe and I'll see you at the end. So here's what I would do with this photograph if I were painting it. I'm looking first at a line that's coming in here and here for the road and a line that's coming up here for the vineyard and then some trees that are sort of doing something and I take it right out the top. Then the other side of this bank here runs back to here. There's a vertical here of a telephone pole and a couple of trees, cypress, but basically I think I'd put that cypress in too, but basically we have a series of buildings stacked here with a bunch of smaller trees and that's the structure. There's the path to the center of interest, horizontals, verticals. You can see it and everything that's supporting that I'm going to be putting in. Everything that's supporting this motion to here, that goes in. Anything that's getting in the way, that goes out. With that structure in mind, here's some of the things I get rid of. And I can't tell everything in the drawing because when you paint, certain things come up. But I would get rid of that whole thing so that this bank of grasses is just one simple thing. I'd get rid of poles like that, things like that. I'd get rid of that lamp post. I'd get rid of all the signs wherever I see them. I'd get rid of that fence. I'd get rid of that thing. And then those posts, they'd be gone. And then this whole area here, I would just simplify. I mean, you can see that there are just a whole series of trees in there like this, right? And I would just be filling that thing with the density of those trees. So let's see how this goes, sort of looking at that structure and then drawing to it. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is make sure I know where everything is going, the big shapes. Um, within the rectangle because that's, you know, it's, that's the structure is one thing, but the size of these shapes and how they're all interacting is another. So I'm just making sure that I've got everything in, you know, the buildings up there and how these trees that are going to be coming down, like these little individual trees that I was showing you are all filling in that space. And then once I've got that organized, then I can start putting in some value. But I don't want to, you know, commit to a lot of value and find things are in the wrong place. So you can just see I'm just sort of one shape leads to the next shape, leads to the next shape, and they all are kind of fitting together. And then here I'm putting in that hedge and I'm realizing, boy, I'm getting pretty tight there on the bottom. Uh, it just, you know, you can sort of imagine that line going across. So I erase it and just come down a little bit so there's a little bit more room on the bottom. And then I'm ready 
to put in the value. Now, the thing I want you to notice here is I'm putting in the tree, right? Value one, lit side and dark side. And you're going to see throughout, I'm drawing the lit side and the dark side. Lit side, dark side. And there I'm drawing that whole embankment on the angle of the actual embankment itself. So it kind of reminds us of its shape, right? There's the lit side, the whole thing, and then I go darker on the dark side. So we're getting, you know, I mean, that it's, it's a tree. It's a lit side and a dark side of a tree. And I'm not getting hung up on the branches and all the little spots and darks and things like that. And then I really want to get some good darks in there. You can see how dark it is in the photograph. I really want to get a good range of value here because the sun's shining. It's really creating a lot of contrast, particularly up in that upper left-hand corner, where is, which is where I want us to go, right? So I'm sort of pushing the value shifts in addition to the, all the structural elements getting there, the value shifts are also pulling us up there. So, you know, you can see I've got all those little trees in, but in every case, sort of lit side, dark side, lit side, dark side, leading, and then I realize just sort of need a mountain. There is a mountain back there. You just can't see it in the photograph. Just something to kind of balance that so it doesn't feel like it's dragging our attention down on the right. And then there's the finished sketch. Just thinking in terms of the various shapes as they fit into that structure, pulling our attention up to the upper left where we wanted to go and everything else supporting it and simplified to that structure. I think you can see from this the advantage of drawing something in advance, seeing a structure and drawing to that structure before just wailing away with paint and seeing what happens. You might try drawing this yourself and just see if you can get a clear sense of objects going back into space and see how much you can eliminate uh, and still make it work. I've got a new copyright symbol at the very end for 2022 that I really like. Also, if you like the video, please do like it, please do subscribe, and you can go to my website, ianroberts.com, and there's a free 20-minute video there that's called Master On Mastering Composition, which kind of gives an overview of what I'm doing here each week. So I hope you found the video this week helpful. I hope you have a terrific week, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye for now.